it is mesmerizing to watch her just fully dive in and play in a childlike manner, doing something that seems very like an innocent childlike activity of just having your ice cream. That's like the reward. Um, and then we got the juxtaposition of the bride making a very important adult step. And it, it really captures the side of us where we might be adults, but there's still that, that child inside who wants to play, who wants to escape, who wants just pleasure, um, and wants to retreat. And kind of those, those moments of regression we have in the face of really big steps. So instead of holding a bouquet, it'd be a lot easier if you were just holding an ice cream. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, just her, her complete abandon in eating the ice cream was really lovely and very relatable. Um, I, I thought that the actress did a great job in, in finding those levels and that balance between the two sides. And I really felt that acknowledgement and the depth and the intensity of the upcoming nuptials. And I, I think that weight was a great, um, right-handed grounding for the piece. So much fun to watch, um, the black and white to the color and the music box music all in the ocean all set such a great tone. And the performer was so great. She was so wonderful with her facial expressions and the subtle changes that she had. You could tell there was a lot of life going on underneath and inside, uh, which is what brought out these moments that she had that just seemed so natural and uh, generic. I mean, not generic, genuine and the opposite of generic. There's a word I'm looking for. I can't figure out, but just beautiful, subtle performance. And it made me laugh and cry at the same time. Just the look on her face um, as she's looking down and looking at the ice cream and, and then showing the flowers. I think um, I wasn't sure if maybe she was left at the altar. It's kind of the feeling I got, or if she was trying to decide whether or not to go through with the marriage either way. This was just beautifully done. Here we get to find this character frozen in this moment of time, moments before she is meant to be wed and go down the aisle. And you see this moment of her being black and white in this wedding dress, and it's sort of solemn almost. And you can see this moment of hesitation uh, happening. Uh, and on the reflective side, when we get to shift in color, she has clown makeup on and it she is sitting there eating this frozen uh, treat. It is an ice cream and she is um, having this moment of just going for it and exploring the decadence of the sweetness of this of this tree and um as the church bells ring you know it's really notifying that it's all right time has come and you kind of get to see the different thoughts and balances between what this character is kind of going through in this moment of time of is she going to go down the aisle or is she not um and what's really going on um, really right before you go down the aisle and uh, this is what's going through this character's mind based on the costuming I see veil I see flowers so I assume this is a bride right but she didn't look happy so I assume this is a bride who has likely run away from the altar because she has ice cream and ice cream is just not something I think you get before you walk down the aisle that seems more I ran away from the altar. Let's go get some ice cream. Um, and so maybe ice cream is what she's decided to do instead of getting married today. So it feels like she's contemplative um, and kind of thinking, did I make the right decision throughout the whole piece? But um, there's some things that I didn't understand the symbolism of, like the clown face. I didn't fully understand the symbolism of that, but I did notice that when the shots were in color, there was a lightness to her disposition in comparison to the shots when she was in black and white. 
And so I would be really interested to know what is the full symbol symbolism behind the the clown face. Um, what is the reasoning for it, and 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 what did it all mean? This film was an interesting experiment of using color in black and white, and I liked how you kind of see both sides of this character: the silly, sad side, and the just plain sad side. And I think it makes for an interesting exploration of context and in and out of. Uh, experience.